Because Windows is so integral and part of a computer, or actually any operating system, simply uninstalling it, it really isn't an option. Um, what you have to do to get rid of it is actually delete the entire drive partition. Um, when I say a partition, it's simply like a partition in a cubicle. Um, your space is your space, and then you have a partition, and then your neighbor's space is their space. On a, a hard drive, our partition is generally assigned a drive letter. Like, uh, in most cases, the main system drive is a C drive, or C colon backslash. You'll see that inside of Windows when you go to My Computer. You'll see a little C colon backslash underneath your local hard drive. So to get rid of Windows, you would get rid of that partition, which will also mean that you lose all the data that's on there. So before you actually uninstall Windows, you always, always, always want to make sure you back up all the data on your machine. When I say data, I don't mean programs. I mean actual data like music, uh, videos, uh, all that stuff, pictures. And make sure you pull that off. The programs that you have installed, unfortunately, you'll need to reinstall again under the new version of Windows that you install. Or uh, if you're installing the same version, when you reinstall the actual application. To do that, you put the actual XP disk in or Vista, depending on whatever you're upgrading to or down to, Windows 2000 or whatever. You put that into your drive. Let the computer boot up to the CD drive. You may actually, on depending on whatever computer that you use, you may have to tell it to boot from the CD drive. When you boot up in there, the, one of the first options that you see is deleting the partition that you have already. When you delete that partition, you'll automatically wipe out Windows.